Hi guys, my name is Gabby. I'm an engineering student at the University of Pittsburgh. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a project in the field of electrical engineering, but before I start, I'm going to give you a little overview about what electrical engineering is. Electrical engineers are the masterminds behind the wiring inside all of your favorite devices, from cell phones to computers to gaming systems. They fix and design new and better ways of using devices that use electricity. In this activity, I'm going to show you how to build a simple robot, or I should, or should I say, a wiggle bot, using common household items and the crossing of two simple wires. I recommend following, following along with the printout that goes along with this video. Okay, so the first step of first step of this project is you're going to take your three markers and tape them to the inside of the cup using electrical tape. So when you're done with this stuff, it should look something like this. These are going to act as the legs of our robot. Okay, so this next step is probably going to require um, some parents' help. So you're going to want to connect your AAA battery holder with your DC motor. And by doing that, you're going to wrap the ends of these, these wires right here to the holes, the openings that are right here. You're going to wrap those around. Um, you might need to, depending on which ones you have, you might need to use a little bit of electrical tape to secure them in place, which is what I did. I did one prior, so it's gonna, you're going to want them to connect like this. So next, you're going to want to connect your AAA battery holder to the top of the cup, and you're going to use that, secure it by using electrical tape. And the thing that's really important in this step is that you, is that you want it to be off-center of the top of the cup, and that's in, to ensure that your robot's going to wiggle more. So um, I already did this. So whenever you're done, you're gonna want it's gonna want to look like this, like more to the side, and then you're gonna secure it like using the electrical tape. After you're done securing the battery pack to the top, you're going to want to then secure the motor also on top, right next to the battery pack. So you're gonna use that again. You're gonna do that again using electrical tape. So it should look something like this. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's nice and secure and at the, top, at the end it should look something like that. Okay, so after your motor is secured to the top of your cup, you're going to wanna to add um, a small piece of electrical tape to this like this part of the motor because you're gonna clip um, the clothes pin onto it. So I, I did this and it like looks something like this and I'm gonna fold it over and then I'm gonna attach it to this middle part right here. And at this point, if you want, you can test, um, add like add your batteries to see if. So obviously mine is working, so that is good news. Okay, so this next step is kind of optional, but basically if you want your bot to wiggle more, then you can take off, take the clothes, remove the clothespin, and you're going to tape a popsicle stick to the side of it. So I'm going to do that right now. And again, you could just do this using um, electrical tape.
Okay. So then it should look like this. And then you could just go on and reattach the clothespin as it was before. And then this last step is the fun part where you get to decorate your robot. And I don't have googly eyes, so I'm just going to use a marker, a permanent marker. And you guys can make it look however you want. You can decorate it with stickers or um, honestly anything. So I just gave my guy a little face. Okay, so now you have your robot all put together. So the last thing you're going to want to do is just remove the marker caps from the bottom like I already did and place it on a piece of paper like this. And then you're going to want to add it in add your batteries back in and watch it wiggle and as you guys can see it creates a nice cute little drawing for you so you could have as much fun with that as you would like and that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you um, had fun learning a little bit about electrical engineering, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.